Kamso Monte Physics Lecture 6 Eigenfrequencies The Effect of Mass on Natural Frequency In a natural vibration structure, the external load is ignored or equated to zero in Kamso. In this lecture, we'll talk about the effect of mass on natural frequencies. So now, first of all, we'll change the shift by editing the part and enter sketch mode and offset by one inch and extrude it into two inches and finish the editing. So this is the geometry that I've changed. So I've added a, a chunk of mass here. So now we'll enter console and we'll make sure that the live link checkbox is checked. So I'll open a console procedure. In this lecture, the goal is to uh, make sure that the effect of mass is quite different from the effect of external load. So now I will choose solid mechanics. And in solid mechanics, I'll choose eigenfrequency. And I'll load the geometry from SOLIDWORKS Synchronize. And this is the geometry that is imported from uh, SOLIDWORKS. So I have finished with the first step, which is a drawing of a geometry, solid model. And the second step is material. Again, I will add material. A alloy steel, 4340. And again, this material is in JIS system. It is SNCM 439. It is a, a nickel chrome moly steel. So make sure that the material, I'll choose this material and make sure that the material is linked with the geometry. Now I'll add another material and as I said I wanted to uh, choose bearing bronze but there's no bearing bronze. I'll choose copper instead. It's not a very proper material for bearing but I don't want want to waste time defining material property. So let's assume that this is bearing bronze. And I'll choose these two bearings. And this is how to define different materials for different parts. Okay, you choose a new material and and uh, link the material to the geometry. This is how you can define different materials for different parts in an assembly. So the second step is finished. For the third step, I'll choose find a mesh and build the mesh. And now for boundary conditions, I'll choose, first of all, I'll zoom in so that I can uh, choose the, the surface easily. So this is uh, fixed constraint, first hole, second hole, three, four. So I can fix these four holes. And for external load, I don't have to place any load because, again, it is uh, natural frequency simulation. So uh, before I run the study, make sure that I enter the number of frequencies that I need to calculate. For example, I'll let the 
uh, software calculates six natural frequencies and six vibrational mode for me. So I'll go ahead and run the procedure. And now, since we have added mass on the structure, the mass of the structure increases. So the mass term in the ordinary differential equation, which appears on the left hand side of the equation, MA plus KX equal to external force. So increasing mass will decrease natural frequencies theoret theoretically. So now uh, without the mass, we have calculated the first uh, frequency to be 1232. So the first frequency of this structure will be lower than that value, theoretically. So uh, the major theme of this lecture, the purpose of this lecture, okay, let's look at here. The frequency is lower than 500. So before we place this mass on the structure, the frequency will be 1200, right? 1232. Now the frequency dropped to lower than 500 hertz. So as we predicted theoretically that increasing mass to a system will decrease the natural frequency of a structure. So again, the purpose of this lecture is to verify that if you increase mass on the system, for example, in the real world, if we place some mass on the structure, for example, we place 300 kilograms of mass on a table, and we remove the mass and place 300 kilograms equivalent force on the table, the stress on the cable, table will be the same. So in static analysis, the external force and effect of mass plus gravity, the effect will be the same. But in model analysis or natural vibration, it is different. The effect of mass will increase the mass and decrease the natural frequency. In, on the other hand, the external force does not change the natural frequencies. So it is very important that you don't replace a mass with a external force in natural vibration analysis. This is a problem that many students many students make this mistake by replacing a mass with an external force and gravity and run natural frequency analysis. It is wrong.